What's up everyone, Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Figured this would be the perfect place to do this video. Which is superior? If you had to choose one or the other, the cold plunge or the sauna. And I'm not even gonna beat around the bush. It's not even close. If I had to choose between one or the other, no matter what the circumstance, no matter what, no matter if I'm an athlete trying to recover, no matter if I'm a bodybuilder, or I'm just someone looking to increase their lifespan, looking to live longer, decrease my chances of dying, it's not even close. I'm choosing a sauna. I'm doing it over four days a week, and I'm doing it for, depending on the temperature of the sauna, between five and 40 minutes, okay? Now for a conventional sauna that gets up to 180, 200, 210 degrees, the data pretty much shows five to 20 minutes, right? Now for infrared saunas, I have no data on this, but since they don't get as hot, this sauna only gets up to 150, you go uh, 20 to 40 minutes easily. Um, again, you work up to that. So the reason being, number one is, the negative, the negative effects, the potential negatives are much higher and pretty much non-existent in sauna, assuming you're a healthy person. For the cold plunge, what you're doing is you are halting protein synthesis in its steps. So the, the theory is, well, I just won't do it post-workout. The problem is post-workout is about 24 hours. So unless you're doing a complete off day where you're not doing any weight training, let's say you do it, um, say you train at 6 p.m. at night and you do the cold plunge at 6 a.m. in the morning, that's still in that time frame where I'm going to say your protein synthesis is elevated and you're going to blunt some of that. Let's say that you do it um, at 6 p.m. at night and you train in the morning. I still think that that could blunt it. Then it's like, well, what about pre-workout? Well, I can argue that the effects of blunting the protein synthesis will last till after training your body just doesn't turn it off and turn it on so there are negatives now the great effects of cold plunge are recovery now if you're like a football player and you have a hard practice on thursday and you have to come back on friday have another hard practice it might help you get on the field if you're someone who deals with a ton of inflammation you're not able to train because you're really 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 you know um inflamed and sore and you're not able to even live a functional life and the cold plunge helps you by all means it's better to operate life not in pain than it is to operate life in pain so then the cold plunge is good for you um and from a dopamine standpoint, you're releasing dopamine, you know, which is great. Gives you that dopamine spike, that dopamine hits, gets you feeling good for hours afterwards. The negatives, um, you know, also like you're cold. Like when I've done things like cold showers or cold plunges, I'm literally shivering for, for hours afterwards, depending on your body fat and how your body replies, responds. So sometimes it could actually hurt your day where that dopamine kick isn't enough to to amount to a better benefit than the fact that you're just cold as hell and you don't like your life. So there's negatives to that. Now, negatives of the sauna, if you already have pre-existing conditions, it could have issues. That's I'm going to say always consult with your doctor for any of, of this stuff I'm saying. But I mean, the benefits, you look at the, the studies from, you know, the, the Finnish countries, right? And you look at those data and, you know, if you're doing four plus days a week, five to, I believe, 20 minutes, don't quote me, I'm just sitting in a sauna, I have no data in front of me, you uh, decrease your morbidity risk by up to 40%. That means a 40% chance, of, a less chance of all-cause mortality. So your chances of dying are 40% less. That's crazy. That's awesome. Um, benefits on blood pressure. Uh, it basically mimics exercise, heat shock proteins. It burns calories. You're burning hundreds of calories, you know, per hour in the sauna above baseline. So essentially you're doing the equivalent of exercise while sitting on your butt watching Netflix. It's, it, it improves your sleep. I know for a fact, I have a whoop strap. I wear it on my ankle. There it is. I have a whoop strap. And I know that the days I sauna, the nights I sauna, much better sleep. Uh, much better recovery, and I just feel better. Helps you relax. Some people are proponents of doing it in the morning. Sometimes that does wear me out a little bit, but it just depends on my overall sleep. I would not ever sacrifice sleep for either of these. So if you have a choice of sleeping or sauna, you absolutely have to choose one of them. I would not wake up early and interrupt uh, a good night's sleep for sauna. I would not stay up later for sauna, but if you could fit it in your waking hours, by all means, do it. So the choice is clear. It's not even close. It's not, I'm not even, I haven't even gone into half the benefits for sauna. There's so many more benefits. 
Uh, Rhonda Patrick has some good things. Uh, Peter Atia does as well on sauna use. But look, man, if you're looking at the benefits and you have to choose one or the other, pick the sauna. As for cold plunge, I can make an argument for and against. I'm kind of in the middle on cold plunge right now. Uh, 50% here, 50% there. It isn't for everybody. It isn't for everybody. The cold plunge is not for everybody. The sauna, almost everybody can benefit from sauna use. Almost everyone can benefit from sauna use. I'd say as close to 100% of people as possible. In fact, if I have someone who's overweight, obese, trying to lose weight, trying to be healthier, um, I'm going to put them in the sauna. Obviously start really low because their system is already stressed and then work my way up. So that's why I say, what do you think? Do you have a sauna? I have one in my house. I literally built a sauna room in my house. I love it so much. Do you like the sauna? Do you like the cold plunge? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm right? Anyway, comment down below. Also want you to know that if you ever need any sport nutrition needs, go to tigerfitness.com. That's my website, tigerfitness.com. We have the greatest multivitamin, multi-mineral pack ever created. It's called MTS Nutrition Immortal. Comes out to less than a dollar a day an amazing supplement go to tigerfitness.com buy immortal now also mts nutrition machine way should be back in the next two weeks really looking forward to that have a whole bunch of flavors coming in you guys are going to love it anyway please comment down below commenting down below helps me like this video interact as much as possible share with your friends and if you're not already subscribe to this channel anyway thanks so much for watching guys i'm mark lobliner that's not a game You've got to hear this. This is crazy. Ambrosia Planta is now available for 1,200 doors nationwide. Wait, is that the one that I use every day? Yes. That mixes the best, tastes the best, and has the best amino acid profile? Yes, from something that was direct, that people just wanted so bad. We grew into Vitamin Shop, then into High V, and now into every single Sprouts across the nation. Look at that, right at eye level, Madagascar vanilla, melted chocolate and cinnamon Tell me which flavor would you like? I would take the chocolate, please. <laughs> I knew you would. Enjoy, available now at All Sprouts nationwide.